that spot cats playing Tempest Fujit. Fujit. Fugetti. Fugetti. There we go. <clears throat> um. Can I grab this? Uh, interact. Oh. Wait, uh -oh. that's something. Uh, damn, I'm freaking fast. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, I need to look at it. What's that? What is it? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Who are you, first friend? <laughs> Next up. Pagnele Reson. All passengers, show me your tickets, please. Well, you know the rule. You'll need to pay the fine. Three whole dollars. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, four. That's it. Four dollars. <laughs> you need to collect four different memories from passengers. <laughs> Don't know how you're going to do it. How that payment? That's the price. Hmm. I'll wait for you at the head wagon. The one after the bar wagon. There's a bar here? Oh, what are you talking to? Me? You're really weird. Well, no, that's locked. I'm oh, sorry, sir. I couldn't oh, find dude. anyone else. Come on. Go and find me those four memories. Cool. Can I make up these memories? Get, get out of the way, then. He doesn't let you pass. Oh, That's locked. That's, That's locked. locked. Are they oh. all in the dining car? <laughs> but where are we? Oh. Oh. You wanna be this guy? Boy. I'm on my way to meet my wife and my mates from my marching band for a picnic. You march? This marching band is my pride. What is your biggest pride? How do your sideburns not connect to your mustache? Oh. That, uh, uh, the Heinz and the... <laughs> Yeah, the Heinz in the night, the coffin that took too much place, Aunt Elaine, my Velcro shoes. My Velcro shoes. There's a lot of things going on. What? I'm remembering my Velcro shoes! Uh, oh. oh, my mother told me that when I went to the school for the first time of my life, I had Velcro shoes because I didn't know yet how to tie up my shoes alone. Yeah, we both had that. Mm -hmm. Velcro shoes. Am I telling them the story? I don't know. I can't remember how old I was exactly when I finally learned how to do it, but I can clearly see myself scream with pride and excitement at the balcony of our house. Huh. Possibly him. Next thing I remember is me on the phone with my dad, who was working at the factory. I guess I had to beg my mother to call him because I couldn't wait for the evening to tell him the big news. I could, I managed to lease my shoes alone. Huh. Well, I we got one ticket. And one memory. Oh, I could feel the pride in your voice. I'm really happy for you. Oh, that was mine. My heart burst with whatever I think about the first time I pulled my marching band's uniforms. Back then, I was a young and good-looking eggplant. Well, yes. eggplants are still kind of big. But it was smooth. <laughs> I was a teenager in my town's fanfare. Orchestra recruited me as their new tuba. Yeah, he didn't have the mustache, but he kept the sideburns. My parents were so happy, so was I. The uniform suited me perfectly. The orange hat felt just right. With its big green feather on top of it. It's been decades since I first joined the... devoted myself to the fanfare. Can you still fit in it? I even met my wife there. Can you believe it? Maybe. She is the first trumpet. She's a, so good, she slays all her solar parts. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I got a memory of your father. Yeah, that works. <laughs> oh, you're weird. Oh, oh. I don't know. Hello, dear. Nothing feels better than traveling in a train with few passengers. There's like a bunch of passengers. I feel a strong connection with them. Even with the dead one. Are you going to kill us all? Do you remember meeting a ghost? No. Because I do. Are you a ghost? Hmm. 
the the hinds in the night, the coffin that took too much place at Elaine. The nine hinds. The nine hinds. Is it gonna go? Do you have to click again? Oh, oh. Yeah, I was good. driving fast in the middle of the night. I was lost in the forest, the one you see there on the mountain outside. You see, I wasn't supposed to be there. I lied to my parents to see my lover. As I was rushing to get home in time, snow started to fall and I had to slow my car. A herd of deers and hinds? What are those? Mm. Uh, crossed the road and stopped in the middle of the road. Crossed the road and stopped in the middle of the road. Huh. I stopped the car in panic. The Hines looked at me for a minute that felt like an eternity. As suddenly as they appeared in my in my headlights, they vanished. I was still hearing hoofs on the road, but no Hines in sight. Huh. So there's deer in this world and goat people. Yes. Hmm. My first girlfriend was a wild sheep. Like many wild sheeps of her age. She smelt bad, and her fur was always a mess. Like yours. These are very first things I would notice when she would pick up, pick me up in her brand new car. She dead. I would get in, kiss her, and smell cigarettes and booze in her breath. Then I would gently touch her chorus fur with her. I felt powerful and limitless. <laughs> This memory got buried with her long term ago. Yeah, she's dead. After she died. But a dream brought her back. In this dream, I hear someone knocking on the door in the middle that of the night. That person was fast. I get up and I walk to the door. I open it and it was pitch black. I can't see. Oh, that person was super but fast. But I smell cigarettes and booze. Or I think that was a treat. All trees. <laughs> I stretch my arms out of the door frame and I feel a rough coarse fur. It's just a demon. That's sexy fur. <laughs> um, hey, a robot. Uh, with with a bread. With a baguette. Hmm. Hmm. I am going to the sea. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna rust. I haven't gone there for a long time. What is the oldest memory you have of your childhood? Uh, the coffin that took too much or Aunt Elaine. That's not much of a story. Yeah, uh, you can just read normally. You can read normally. Elaine is my family's friend. She used to live in our house. One day she decided she wanted to live in the mountain. So she sold her house to my parents and bought a cabin in the forest. Every time <clears throat> Elaine came to visit us, she would tell me stories. I sat on her lap and listened to her tales. Somehow, each tale she told me featured a wolf. I was just a kid and I adored her and naturally I gave her the nickname Auntie of Wolf. <clears throat> she is 86 today. She still lives alone in the forest and still call her Auntie of Wolf. <clears throat> she is a wolf. She eat many, many children. Hmm. Where are the people able to leave such a mark? Mom got married with a sailor. At the time, it wasn't a good idea. Because the rust? A robot with a sailor. There could be a robotic sailor. People would give us dirty looks in the streets. Tim didn't have kids. How do your eyes work? He was sad about it, because he wanted to teach how to be a good sailor. Like giant screws. That's how I learned about knots, ties, yeah, ties, winds, and everything. How about the bread? But mom would never let me take one of his one mast boasts and sloop. A sloop. She was scared. I don't blame her. One day... Mom had to run errands outside the village. You go on the boat. Tim took this as a chance. Then left. Together he sailed for three hours. I remember every second of it. For me, it felt like going on Andromeda. Hmm. 
We could go everywhere. Nobody could stop us. Except I watched for an this. island. Hmm. Or the sea police. Or rocks. Hmm. I watched as far as my eyes could see. Or a well. Hmm. We mourned before mom came home. Wait, what? Tim and I never talked about it again. We didn't have to. We took pictures and it's in a journal and there's plenty of proof. I never sailed again. Tim died a few weeks ago. He left me his sloop. Is that the bread? And today, I'm going to the sea. To give him bread. Oh, he's gonna kill himself. Okay. Uh, uh, where are those mouths going? Oh, there's plenty of people. Yes. Characters are just when they drink, they need to talk. I'm like a shrink, but cheaper. It eh, depends on how many drinks. I'm a good listener. It helps. I heard so many stories, so sometimes I think I have actually lived it. That's it! Yeah, that's his memory. Bye! Oh, now he's an old man. Are you a tree? I longed for scenes where man hath never trot. A place where a woman never smiled or wept. There's to abide and sleep as I in child sleepily wow. slept. Untroubling and untroubled where I lie. Why are you talking in weird ways? The grass below, above the vaulted sky. John Clay. Ah. Tell me, the saddest thing you ever witnessed, stranger? Uh, probably the coffin. Yeah, that sounds right. If it goes. <sighs> You're a strange one, Mr. Tree, or... No, when my grandmother died, I was just a kid. She lived as she died, poor and miserable. <laughs> she spent most of her life with an abusive man. Hmm. It was my first experience with death. At her burial, we had to walk on uh, other graves to reach the family vault. Her coffin didn't fit in the grave. Her husband's coffin was taking too much place in the tiny family vault. Even in death, he committed his last abuse on her. Hmm. Hmm. Could have twisted Just it. Take out his, put it on the floor, and put hers in. I'm sorry for your loss. I too lost something dear to me. I was, I obsessed. Yeah, I obsessed with this memory of my hometown, an ancient, elegant town. High buildings, faded red facades, facades, facades. That ain't facades. The luxurious vegetation. The that gave the city its eerie charm. Ivory climbed along, wait, yeah, Ivory climbed along the old stone walls and houses. Rose shrubs growing around the wells of the city. Mysteria providing cover from the sun in the mm. inner core. Your because. mustache and your eyebrows look exactly the same. Oh, he is a tree. They look in the distance. My last day in my hometown was a holiday. It was yesterday. The sky was blue. The air was very sweet and warm. The streets were filled by flocks of people with colorful dresses and happy faces. Well, you kind of have a colorful outfit. Yeah. Though I had boutiques in their arms and flowers. Oh, bouquets. Well, okay. Yeah. Had <laughs> boutiques. <laughs> yes, I, I was yeah. carrying my boutique. Around with me. It was a very small store. <laughs> their arms and flowers in their hair. Then, the explosion. What did you do? The waves of water filling the streets. The screams. These are the last things I remember from my hometown. So it's gone forever. Since this day, I wander and travel to find a city that looks like my vanished hometown. Well, you kind of look rich. Can you build your own? To finally be at peace somewhere in this world. Cool. Kind of in the ground a bit, so. What? What are those on his arm? Things. Oh. Oh. You were the last one. What happens if you talk to the people again? Want some to drink? 
No, no. Uh, really. can, can you interact with drinks? I think that's it. I can't talk to drinks, I know that. Uh, can you try talking to anybody else? I don't see anybody else. No, try like, try to talk to them again. No? Uh. No, I can't talk to that. Can't talk to that. Oh. What was if you talked to him back there? Or did he teleport? Who are you talking about? Oh, uh, the fish guy. I could probably see him from here. Is he still back there? Oh, yeah. I forgot about him. Yeah, he's still back there. There's two of them. They're not even the same person. Yeah. Well, they could be two different uh, guys. Yeah, he said he was going to be waiting over here. It was you, anyways. Uh, have you the memories? Was it hard? Passengers tend to be talkative in my train. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, let's hear your memories. Mm -hmm. Tell all memories. Oh, you have to oh. click on it. Oh, no, they're all going to be put together or something. Oh, where's the end? Oh. oh, you tell the dream of a long time reunion. You recite a poem and the tell of a lost city. Hmm. You recount the robot and the sea. You re relate how pride is inside every little moment. Hmm. Well, that Tempest was nice. Something still. Fuji. I wonder why the bar guy was just there. Huh. Cool. See, all the people we met, even bar guy. Who barely even said anything. Yeah. He's like, I know everything. Want a drink? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, see you next time. He could have oh. had stories. He could have told us something like how he had to break up a bar fight on this train and throw him out. Or some of the strange stories that he's heard. Or why he's a bartender. Yeah. And why he's bald. Or just old. Okay, see you next time. And his whole adventure with Nathan Drake. Get <laughs> that Sully. Well, it looks like Sully. Bye.